I don't enjoy mowing, but at the farm there's just so much to mow. What's a guy to do but build a GPS-driven autonomous lawnmower? I call it Automo, and I've been using it for over a year at the farm. It saved me tons of time, so let's see how it's built. A quick note before we dive in. You may be asking, why build this? Why not buy a commercially produced robot mower? The answer is in these videos you're seeing now. The area I'm mowing is large and long. Down the lane, around the orchard, around fields, etc. In other words, not a square yard. The cheaper robot mowers on the market require you to bury a wire around the area to be mowed, and then the mower just mows around in there. But with such long, narrow strips to be mowed at the farm, a boundary wire is untenable. GPS-driven commercial robot mowers cost $5,000 and up, and this whole build is less than $1,000. So, let's dive in. There are four components to the auto mow. The first is the base station and autopilot. This is just a Windows laptop running Mission Planner. That's where the map is made. Sidebar, here's a screenshot of Mission Planner running on that laptop with a mower map file pulled up. It's part of a large ecosystem called ArduPilot. The ArduPilot project, commonly used as you see here, so Mission Planner on the base station and an autopilot, which is a computer and GPS. It, it's just a wonderful free software platform from which you can control nearly anything. Seriously. Drones, planes, rovers, boats, subs, you name it. All the heavy computing of actually driving the mower is done in Mission Planner and the Autopilot computer, and it's free to use software. This is the Autopilot. It's got a compass and a GPS, and it's what follows the map set at the base station. The second main component on the auto mow is the drivetrain. That consists of the electronic speed controller here. That gets commands from the autopilot telling it to turn the right or the left mower. And then a big car battery right here, which powers these electric bike motors right here. This is just a normal bike chain. It's just been made extra long so that it can then power the wheels. The third component on the auto mow is the frame itself. I just took some angle iron and welded this together. It's basically a cube with four wheel assemblies. Each wheel assembly is set up so that there's some ball bearings in here that lets them spin, and everything is welded together. So the tire turns with the bike uh, sprocket with the axle. So whenever this motor right here turns, it's gonna turn both of those wheels together. The fourth and final component of the auto mow is the mower itself. This is just a standard push mower. Everything's been taken off of it, and then it's been bolted to the frame of the rest of the auto mower. I haven't gone into any great detail about these. Um, it'd take quite a bit longer to do so, but if you're interested, let me know in the comments. And if we get enough views on this and interest in this, I'll be sure to make a video with more in-depth uh, on each of these components. What a fun project and a time saver. Now the more engineering minded viewers may wonder how my GPS stays accurate. The answer is I'm using base station correction, which changes GPS inaccuracy from many meters to just a few centimeters, allowing me to uh, mow normally. That's why the HERE 3 GPS was selected uh, it's for its ability to use base station corrections. Now for the keenest judge of all, my pooly dog, Data. Data, what do you think? I'll take that as a meh. Oh well, you can't please everybody. Mm, oh lordy, there's light. There's light. Mm, oh lordy, there's light. There's light. There's a light in the window. There's a light in the window. There's a light. Oh lordy, there's light. Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more unique and useful do-it-yourself builds.